how to play the Nigerian National Anthem Level 9. Uh, in Lesson 8, we we'll learned to play the National Anthem of Nigeria using um, single notes on the left hand. In the last video, I kept on I kept on making a mistake of calling the left hand the right hand, so my apologies about that. So uh, today we are going to add passing chords or passing notes. It's supposed to be passing chord on the left hand, but because we are using single notes, we can call them passing notes. On some of the chord progression on the left hand, we add some passing notes. So let's let's see what I'm talking about. So in the last video, we played it like this. We went from do la so, but we can include this to it so that this gets involved, and that will be called the passing note because we decided to pass through it to get to the next note. So instead of doing Let me go again. This is the first one. This is the second one. So this is how you get it in your mind. You tell your mind that whenever you're hitting this, you're hitting this. Then I'll move to the second one. In the last video, I used Fa for this line, but now I'm going to Re because uh, I just want space to progress forward to. And uh, basically, that's the reason. And Re can also work. I think in the last video we did... But now we are taking this Fa to Re. So we added the passing note of Mi and we'll add the passing note of T again. So Mi has been added and T has been added as passing notes. We go again. So, re re mi fa, and the previous video we did something like this. That's it. But now, because we've we've changed to single fingers, we are allowed to do a lot of movement on the left hand. We don't have to stay too long on one note. So you can do Re Mi Fa. So Re is in the so chord, Mi is in the La chord, and Fa is in the T chord. This is Fa T chord. This is Fa here. Uh, this is Mi in the La chord, and this is Re in the so chord. So you can move along, right? So. Now mi fa so is in do is in do re mi because this is do chord. That's me in it. This is the re chord. That's fa in it. In the mi chord. That's so in it. So we went from playing the fifth. The labor of the fifth of our chord, we played it here. Then we went there, we went further to play the third on the right hand. So this is what we did. We 
played the fifth of the left hand, now we're playing the third of the left hand. I hope you understand. And then from there you go to... What are we playing now? We're still playing the third of what we have on the left hand, right? So what I did was, instead of staying on Re for too long, Fa is a substitute chord of Re. Uh, sorry. Instead of staying on Re for too long, instead of staying in Re for too long, we know that the ray is in the sol chord, so any of these notes you press at that time will sound all right. So shall never be in vain sounds well. Shall never be in vain sounds well. So ray and sol will sound well. T will also sound well. Shall never be in vain sounds well. But if you try something else, it won't sound well. Shall never be in so you can share that timing between re and so you can share it so shall never be in vain so instead of holding this down for too long you can share it with so but you can also decide i can't just jump from re to so how about i have a passing note you can have this as your passing note you can have this as your passing note but there's another note between Re and Sol. It's a minor note. You can have it as your passing note. So these are the three notes between Re and Sol. So shall never be in vain. It works. Shall never be in vain. Works. But I just wanted to add a minor because in this lesson we've not used the minor yet. Shall never be in vain. Sorry. Shall never be in vain. To Understand that this is so, and so is in the me chord. To serve with heart and and mind lies in the far chord. All right. One nation bound in what lies in the far chord. We are going down. We are doing the. So, Fa is in the record. We are picking the record for the Fa. Instead of doing peace and. Instead of jumping from this to this. In the previous video, we jumped from Fa to Sol, but now we substituted Fa for Re. So, instead of jumping from Re to Sol, the advantage of substituting Fa for Re is you now have space to pick a passing note. So, you can either pick four as a passing note. Peace and you, oh peace and you. But I decided to pick peace and you. something you can practice over and over again to perfect it so that's that for that on how to play the nigerian national anthem level nine uh, please subscribe to get the more advanced level as we progress uh, my aim is to use this song to teach you how to uh, play the piano because uh, you can learn to play the piano with any single song and, and it's almost like using the learning to drive a car you pick one car you learn to drive with it as soon as you're done with that you've already mastered how to drive other cars you don't need to start learning other cars again so that's my plan with the national anthem so please stick around with me this particular level will be quite difficult to pull through or to pull off 
especially if you're a learner but uh, uh, there's nothing that can't be done if you give it your time and your energy so i wish you good luck and i wish you the best practice in this yeah see you later